everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm going to be working on site later today, doing some more building, getting ready to get the bathroom floor tiled. But this morning, I'm working on trees because some more trees showed up. Uh, if you guys saw the earlier video, you know I got uh, things from online orchards and from gurneys. 100% of the gurney stuff uh, seemed like it came alive. About half of the stuff from online orchards seems like it arrived maybe dead. I had uh, four trees that were uh, you know, showing no signs of life, though just this morning, this one it's just starting to shoot out little uh, um, little buds there, so you know I, I, I'm not sure. You know, maybe more of it's alive than I thought, but certainly not as uh, vivacious as a lot of the stuff that came from Gurney's. But anyway, I went direct to Gurney's this time. Last time I went like through Home Depot that kind of subbed it out to Gurney's. I went to direct to Gurney's. If you guys put in an order at Gurney's, at least in my experience, they're one of those places where you put in an order and then when they confirm your order, they send you a coupon that's like good for you know 10 days. Uh, a really good coupon that makes you wish that you had uh, just bought a little bit from them and then got the coupon and then made your main order. So if you go to Gurney's, put a small order in uh, and there's a good chance they're going to send you a coupon. The coupon they were sending me was like $25 off $50 or $50 off $100 or $100 off $200. Pretty decent coupon. So if you go there, small order, get your coupon and then put in your big order. Uh, I am about to plant this, but I've run out of pots. I mean, these guys were starting to get into some pretty small pots, which is fine because they didn't come with any roots, uh, the, the online orchard ones. Um, but I've run out of pots. I've got these, but these aren't very deep. And these guys, they've got roots all the way up to here. So I've, I'm thinking about using these uh, old flower bags, flowers and oats uh, bags and stuff. That's not ideal, but I think it'll hold them over long enough. And they're a little deeper. I put a little bit dirt of dirt in the bottom of this one. And uh, I'm just going to kind of shovel some more dirt in here. Hey, again, I'll reiterate, I don't think this is the best solution in the world, but, you know, really these, these trees want to go right into the ground, but where I'm going to be planting them, I'm not living right now. Plus, I don't have any access to good compost there. Uh, so i got to do some kind of a temporary solution here. And I'm hoping that this will work out. You know, you want to uh, keep these things nice and watered. These bags are probably going to turn into mush. But when I do need to transport them, maybe I can uh, plant some of these other trees first. Bring, bring those trees over there, get them planted. That'll free up the pots. And then I can very gently kind of lift these up and one at a time put them into the, the pots that are freed up and use the pots for transportation to the actual site. But uh, hopefully this will just get enough dirt around these things that they will, uh, you know, they'll stay alive long enough. And, and start rooting more. I guess it's kind of like like a peat pot, right? You, know, you get those little uh, you know, peat pot containers. Uh, I, I suppose when I plant these, I would just put them in the ground and tear the paper away and, uh, and do it that way. So hopefully that's going to work out all right. I'll put a little bit more dirt in that one. I've got all these other ones. I was going to use plastic bags, but then with plastic bags, I'd have to puncture up the bottom. Uh, and uh, I, don't know, I found all these in there. They're bigger than all the plastic bags that I've got, and I, I think they're going to work out okay. So uh, I'll share with you if there's any major problem with these. I think the big thing i got to worry about is keeping them close together so they don't like turn into mush and fall over. Get some, maybe some logs around them, just keep them upright. And as long as I can keep them upright, I, I think they should be okay until I, I get to the point where I have to transport them. And then it's like, you know, I'll take them and I'll, I'll put them into something like this and uh, transport them. Because, uh, you know, they're going to be kind of mushy. That's it. Thanks for watching.